Alrighty. Welcome back to Free Will Tarot. This is a general reading with the zodiac sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, and or Rising. Let's go ahead and get an opening oracle. We will read from the guidebook. All right now, five tarot. Here's your situation, the challenge, what to consider moving forward, what's naturally progressing, and your advice. We will clarify as we go. And last but not least, closing oracle for the reading. All right. Libra, let's go ahead and jump into the first oracle. Perfect storm, the courage to step into life. Okay, so what I'm getting from this is maybe you haven't had the courage to step into maybe a authority role a how do I want to word that a role of authority or step into your power in some sort maybe you haven't had the courage to go after what it is you desire I know a lot of Libras don't make decisions easily they stay indecisive because they want to make the best move or decision regarding others let's go ahead and read from the guidebook that is number 44 perfect storm an invitation to act now the courage to step into life sheltering from turbulence when the perfect storm appears it cautions you to be ready for an exciting, if turbulent, time. The winds are picking up, and you need to make sure that you are close to the eye of the storm, or you will be buffeted by gusts that may take you far from where you need to be. The key is to remain centered and balanced and bear witness as the forces build in intensity. Notice how the loose stuff is starting to fly around and recognize how little of it you truly need. Let go of those thoughts, beliefs, and attitudes that clutter your heart and cloud your mind, then the storm will be absolutely perfect for you. If you wonder what you might lose during the perfect storm, know that it is those things we are most attached to that are taken first as if life were trying to unburden us of our righteous self-importance. Let it all go with the wind. <clears throat> the less you resist the change brought by the perfect storm, the happier you will be. Ride with the winds to your next destination. Embrace the rain or snow. Remember that every time you try to argue with nature, you lose. The perfect storm can also be a call for you to seize the moment. There might be a great opportunity that you need to take advantage of right now. Carpe diem. Here, time is of the essence. It may be gone shortly, so do not hesitate. Go ahead. Bite off more than you can chew and take the storm on in all its terrifying greatness. Experiencing the fullness of life. You will succeed. Okay. So as the guidebook suggested, this may be a time where... A circumstance may happen where you need to let go of anything that's been burdening you. But I feel like now is the right time to, yes, seize the day, but to have courage to step into maybe a leadership role or to go after your dreams whatever those examples may be. 
So let's go ahead and see what we have for the situation. Two of Cups. All right, this is pretty straightforward. If you have been connecting with a specific person, now is the right time to, <clears throat> to pick from those fruits, let's say. Maybe offer to go on a date or take them out on a date or suggest ideas of where to go or what to do on this date. It can't be that straightforward though, so let's go ahead and clarify this Two of Cups for Libra. Mm, not just yet. The Magician. Okay, so you definitely are connecting with someone who may or may not have the same goals, have the same interests as you, or you very well could just very... Or, yeah, you could be getting along with this person very well. But the magician tells me that you are manifesting this person into your life. You are manifesting things to be taken away from your life. That way you have the space for a relationship. The, the magician is also reminding you that you have all the tools and resources necessary to make this relationship work as long as you utilize all the tools at your disposal all right what is the challenge the high priestess okay so you very well could be in your ego at the moment you might find it challenging to decipher the difference between your ego and your intuition The ego obviously will tell us, no, it's not the right time. No, I need to wait till this happens, till that happens for the right timing. But, I mean, is there ever a right timing for anything? I'd say the right timing is now, if anything. And your intuition will tell you that it is safe to have the courage to step into this relationship or to manifest a desired outcome with this person. What else can we get or gather from this high priestess? Judgment. Yeah, it's the right timing. You might you might see signs from the universe that this is the right timing, maybe through symbols or maybe even song lyrics. However the case, you find it challenging to answer the call. The call to be courageous. I feel like the universe is definitely in your is telling you that this relationship is meant to be in your life, either to teach you a lesson or to teach this person a lesson. It doesn't have to be karmic in nature, but this person does serve a purpose and you are being called to maybe bring this connection together, this relationship into, re into a, a union of sorts. You're being called to make it happen, basically. Let's take a look at this person. This is what to consider moving forward, which if you're not already considering this information, it must be in your subconscious. And anything in your subconscious reflects amongst people in our environment or a group of people or a singular person. But for this reading, we will use the example of a singular person. So this person, oh my goodness, there he is, the devil. So this person may have some addictions. You might feel tempted by this person. You may feel like this is a toxic individual, or maybe you're bound to them in some way, shape, or form. 
It very well could be that this person is playful. Or maybe this person feels restricted or limited. Maybe there's boundaries to this relationship. Let's go ahead and clarify the devil, though. Knight of Wands. Oh my goodness. That is not what I wanted to see. All right, so... It very well could be, yes, on one hand, that this person is playful and they have a lot of determination as to how can we get this relationship off the ground and rolling. Let's even throw ideas at the wall, see what sticks. If these ideas stick, we'll know to continue them until they no longer stick or until they no longer work. You know, throw more ideas at the wall. If it doesn't work, we'll know to leave them behind. That sort of thing. But overall, this person may have addictions. You might feel tempted by them to get this relationship off the ground. And this person may have a lot of passion and determination, yes. The Knight of Wands has a bad rap for being a player of sorts. So definitely be cautious of this person. If they are charging in only wanting sex or the passionate side of connections. What is the common ground or how it's naturally progressing for the both of you? I definitely feel like there's mutual love here. Yes, this person might even want to ask you on a date, this person might accept a date offer from you or a proposal of dating. I mean, maybe it's that you both share a, a passion, a hobby, the same interests. And that's why you two are being ushered in by the universe to make this happen. But, I mean, it very well could be that you have a hard time deciphering the difference between your ego and your intuition because this is a judgment call. The universe is saying, hey, this is a test. Are you going to fall for this player energy? Are you going to give in to this player energy or are you going to invest in yourself and invest a healthy relationship? Either way, you're needing to have the courage to step into something, whether it's a relationship with this person or it very well could be that this person wants to invest in a hobby that both of you share or a business venture. Let's go ahead and clarify the Knight of Cups, though. All right, with the Empress. Okay, you both have a feminine side of each other that you both respect, let's say. So sure, there's a lot of love in this relationship, but there's also a lot of potential to expand on horizons of each other's in whatever direction that may be. Maybe it's knowledge, maybe it's emotional. There's a lot of creative potential here though. You might feel like both of you even share the same values or maybe that you are on the same wavelength as to your worth, your value, like personal worth. Let's go ahead and check out the advice. Page of Pentacles. I feel like your advice here is to weigh up the pros and cons as to if what you bring to the table is going to be reciprocated from this person or if what they bring to the table is worth your time and energy because if they're just bringing this devil energy to the knight of wands 
I would definitely be cautious. What else can be said about this page of pinnacles? I mean, maybe the advice here is to come in with a beginner's mindset, to look at this person with brand new eyes as to maybe you're seeing them in this light, Empress and Knight of Cups, when really they have some sort of mask or a facade and maybe you're not seeing this devil to the Knight of Wands player energy. Let's clarify the Page of Pentacles, though. Eight of Pentacles. Well, it very well could be that you still need to work on self-improvement or put the work and effort into a hobby that you're interested in. Or it very well could be that it is worth the effort to put in to this relationship. But I... I strongly suggest being cautious, especially with this person coming through as the devil in the Knight of Wands. Sure, I'm sure you have a lot of love for this person. I'm sure you have a lot of understanding and compassion for maybe what they've been through. It very well could be that you or this person could get pregnant. There's a potential for pregnancy here with the Empress. But this Eight of Pentacles is telling me to continue to put the work and effort into yourself. Because I feel like this person is going to eventually feel insecure in your energy. Like they are not good enough. Only because you are feeling their projection, their energy their toxic energy, maybe it's going to make you feel like you're not good enough. And that's why this page of pinnacles is here, making you feel like, well, maybe I should start from ground zero and reevaluate my own worth, my own value, what I bring to the table. Yeah. Let's go ahead and check out the last card, which is the Oracle. Time to let go. Exactly. There's something with this courage to step into life, this perfect storm is going to take away things that are no longer necessary or needed. And you might've been stuck in a cycle with a specific person that you felt was maybe good for you, but the universe is taking them away from your energy so you can manifest a healthy relationship. Time to let go, Groundhog Spirit. Let's go ahead and read from the guidebook here. Number 31. All right. Have you been relentless in your efforts to revive something that has passed its prime and needs to die away? A situation, a relationship, a belief, or a habit that served you once but no longer fills you with vitality? Perhaps you automatically expect to see the world through a specific lens based on the familiar. Groundhog Spirit has appeared to let you know it's time to accept that the past is the past, so allow yourself to feel the loss and grief, or grieve it if you need to. Any sadness will not last forever or overwhelm you. Knowing Spirit is with you and wants you to experience joy and excitement again will help you through this transition from the old to the new. Keep your eyes open for winter always gives way to spring and endings always give birth to beginnings. For now, let yourself feel your emotions, releasing them to make way for the joy that awaits you. Spring and new growth are on their way for that is spirit's promise to you. Yeah, it might be time to let this person go so that you can let something new come into your life. I feel like you are in a transformative period where you might be letting go of a lot of different things, a lot of uh, limited beliefs about yourself. And that could very well be uh, attached to what you believe 
about this person. If this person sees you changing, they might try to pull you down with them. So I'd be careful of this person. If anything, try to let them go. Take the time to grieve as much as you can and do the work for self-improvement even if it means looking at the little minor details. I hope that helped for all the Libras who have joined me in this reading. And I want to thank everyone for supporting my endeavors. I hope to see you all in the next video. Take care.